What's up, Virgo? This is Soul. And Virgo, hey, we're going to try an experiment here uh, this week. This is going to be a Labor Day special. We want to focus on some relationships here. We're going to talk about your person and or your situation. So we are using the, uh, in order to do that, we're going to be using the uh, nothing but the T cards. So I'm going to uh, throw several uh, cards here. And then also to the compliment, um, nothing but the T energies. I'm also going to be uh, throwing some cards from the Arcanium, Arcanum tarot deck just to get some sort of clarification. And by the way, um, there are some reversals here in this deck. All right, so let's just get started here. This uh, energy is for, of course, Virgo suns, moons, and Virgo rising signs. What are the person's uh, feelings towards you, their interests, their thoughts? I want to try to get as much information as we possibly can. Uh, this is for situations that you may be involved in. It could be a third-party situation. Um, anything that's going on relationship-wise with you. Now, you can still be that single Virgo. Uh, and it still could be somebody who uh, likes you or whatever. But, you know, they may not have um, taken the time or the opportunity to move forward towards you. But there may be their thoughts, you know, their thoughts coming through for you. So this is for the singles, couples, and uh, Virgos who are already in uh, relationships, same-sex genders as well. Why not? All right, so let's just uh, see what's going on here with nothing but the T. Several. This deck is huge. Very slippery cards. <laughs> so I was just anxious to use the deck because um, I, you know, got this deck from... I'm not, I don't know if you're familiar with... Is it King Alua? He has his channel. And uh, I love his card, so I just had to have this deck. But let's just see what's going on here in terms of the T. Nothing but the T. What is your person's thoughts and feelings towards you? All right. Okay. Keep in mind, this is just a Labor Day special. All right. Here we go, Virgo. So the very first uh, card that shows up here is mind focused over there, all right? So that's a message that, you know, someone could be focused, the person that, you know, um, that you're dealing with or, you know, somebody that crushes or that's crushing on you or liking you, their mind is elsewhere, could be focused on something else. Up next is the uh, someone is missing you here. Okay, someone is missing you, Virgo. Also, um, up in smoke, that could mean several things. Up in smoke, could be the relationship, or it could be just, you know, since the smoke is here, it could be that they're uh, weed smoking or something, or somebody has a problem with smoking cigarettes or weed smoking, something's up in smoke. STDs, doctor's visits, okay. That might be an important message for uh, some of you out there. Next message is only when I want it. So this card here just referenced... That the person, and I'm feeling that it's sexual energy, that, you know, they only want the sex when they want it and not when you want it. So <laughs> that could be a difficult situation if that is the problem and you're, you're dealing with a partner who only wants the sex when they want it and not when it's a mutual kind of thing. Uh, the next one up is uh, someone is in love with two people. All right. Oh, my gosh. There's two people here. I said it could be third-party uh, energies here, right? So crocodile tears, someone could be crying over you. And underneath missing you, that could be, um, you know, something that is uh, synchronistic. Up next is uh, hearing all the tea. So this is about gossip, okay? Getting all the gossip and uh, information that could be uh, related to you. Getting all the information, they're ascertaining all the information, trying to, you know, gather um, anything and everything that they can get in its reference to you. All right. So that, now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. All right. Up next is hiding behind a mask. Now, this could be a message that can come out several ways, hiding behind some sort of false energy. Uh, when I think of this card here, I think of the uh, magician. So somebody could be hiding their their true feelings. They could be hiding um, their true intentions. Uh, but somebody is hiding behind a mask. So that's false energy. Up next here is how about some benefits? Okay, so somebody wants some benefits, Virgo. You know, are you providing benefits? This could be FWB. 
friends with benefits or whatever. All right, so um, do I need to toss any more cards here? Let's see. Holding back emotions. Somebody's holding back emotions on you, a Virgo. Somebody is also holding uh, deeds over your head. Could be holding some sort of deeds over your head. Let's get uh, babies involved. So there could be some sort of children involved here. Up next is secret. Oh, somebody got a secret child. Virgo, somebody has a secret child. Secret rendezvous. Someone wishes or, you know, wants a secret rendezvous with you. And uh, let's just draw one more love potion practitioner. So somebody could be casting love spells and shit <laughs> on you, Virgo, when it comes to those relationships. All right. So let's just toss a couple of uh, tarot cards here just to see what's going on here, just to get a little bit more information, even though these cards speak volumes for themselves. But it's just interesting, though. Oh, one popped out. So six of cups. So some of you might be dealing with past relationships. Someone is thinking of you, um, you know, that you were uh, once connected to, possibly. So there could be an instance of being, um, you know, contacted. You know, it could be con. You're, you're, excuse me. You're getting ready to be contacted now. Whether or not this all takes place before Labor Day is, it, it remains to be seen. These are just, you know, fluid energies, and it could happen before. It could happen after. Her. Could happen, you know, during whatever six of cups, but somebody here is thinking of you and it's attached to your past. Um, let's throw another one here. Six of cups, of course, is Gemini. Uh, yeah, of course, is Gemini. It's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Duh. All right, and I wasn't going to do a lot of uh, tarot card picks. Uh, strength. So, somebody here is weak. Somebody could be weak for you. Okay, this is the strength card in reverse, Major Arcana. Leo the Lion, so some of you may be dealing with fire signs, Leo specifically, but uh, this could mean a couple of things. When uh, the strength card shows up in uh, reverse, and we're talking about relationships here, somebody is holding on too tight to a relationship and there's a fear of letting go of a relationship. So yeah, someone is feeling weak or unwilling to let go. That's the strength card. Uh, so the next one up here is the death card in reverse. So actually, the death card in reverse is pretty good. So that means that um, you were able to release and let go of a relationship that is no longer serving your highest good. Now you're ready for something new to enter your life. Those are for those single Leos or I'm not, I'm sorry, single Virgos who may have had uh, to deal with some sort of uh, relationship uh, closure or endings. This, I'm showing you the death card here in the upright, and it usually means that something has to go. Something has to come to an end. And in reverse, that means it's already, um, you know, for some of you have come to an end. I don't want to use the um, situation where there's a reluctance to let go of a situation that is no longer serving you uh, any good because that to me would be from uh, you know that would be the devil in reverse for me so I'm interpreting that there is uh, you know the death card that you know represents that water energy Scorpio cancer and Pisces that there is some sort of ending and you're ready for a new beginning all right so we have the six of cups we have the death card in uh, reverse major arcana and also the uh, strength card in reverse let me just toss one more Virgo and this is all for fun. Nine of Cups. Yeah, that wish didn't get fulfilled. Okay, Nine of Cups is always that wish fulfillment type of energy. Things being, you know, uh, granted. Hopes, wishes, and dreams. We're talking about, you know, relationships. So somebody um, still could be the other person or, the, you know, the interest that you, um, that the, you know, the interest that is coming towards you or the, the feelings or the emotions towards uh, you from the other person that someone is, you know, could be disappointed here that, you know, they were hoping to make a connection with you and it didn't come to fruition or it didn't manifest. This is not receiving any, um, you know, wishes. <laughs> Basically, this is not receiving the wish. So we're talking about the person's energies towards you. Um so think in terms of the death card. Someone released a relationship. Something. Someone let something go. 
someone is uh, with the strength card still holding on uh, and feeling weak in terms of, um, you know, the response of letting go of a situation. Then we have the Six of Cups, someone from your past is thinking of you. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. This is just entertainment purposes only. I just drew these cards just to see how it would come across. You know, please like, share if you um, should happen to do so. I'd appreciate that. Appreciate you. No, get me wrong. This is just something additional. I am still going to do the weekly readings for you. And uh, I just wanted to throw these cards out there because I was just anxious to use them. So use these messages to your benefit. And if they resonate, they do. If they don't, don't worry about it. Okay, so we'll talk to you soon. Keep smiling. Be safe. Bye.